um, well, no, I didn't talk about it. I had just said it in, I think it was yesterday's video, that um, we took Ann to the doctor's Wednesday. I had to leave work early because his eye was like, ooh, there's a snake, ew! I thought it was rubber. I thought it was like a piece of rubber, but it was a snake. Blech, get through the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> Anyways, so we took Ann into the doctor's um, Wednesday. Um, and, and, um, his eye was watering constantly and then it got to where it was just like gooped up, like, um, just crusted around it. So, um, I just wanted to take him to the doctors. I called the nurse just to see like if it was like something that we needed to just watch and keep clean or if, it, if I need to bring him in. And of course she was like, yeah, bring him in. So we brought him in, we took him to the doctors and... They said it was a clogged tear duct and that he's really just like stuffy because I told her he's like stuffy and he coughs a lot. She said it was probably a cold and she said that it's, the congestion is probably causing his his eye to get clogged, I guess. But um, it's perfectly back to normal now. It was just like one day that it was like that. I don't know why it was worse that one day, but she said it can come and go and she said it can get infected, but the way you can tell if it's infected is if it's just red on the white part. So. It hasn't been, so he's good. I definitely can go faster. I'm going 50 and a 55. I'm just vlogging. I'm on a back road, so nobody's around. <laughs> horses! I think there's horses. Can you see any? I don't know. There's a big truck coming. riding but I love horses I just I think they're so amazing and beautiful and I want one so I will she said that I could come sometime and ride them so I want to go by there so she told me that I could come by and you know come by and ride one but um and she said I could come by and go riding but at the time I was pregnant so she was like well you might want to wait till you're not pregnant because I was like nine months pregnant but I really want to go horseback riding and I'm kind of nervous because you know obviously they can like flip out I guess and like knock you off but I really really am excited and I really want one so I'm gonna ask her maybe I don't know we'll see okay so just left my sister's house I dropped Gannon off so she can watch him I'm gonna go get my eyes checked I am going back to the eye doctor I know I've been like five times well not five but a bunch of times because I didn't like the last ones he put in and he's trying to get me some that I can sleep in because I sleep in mine and the ones that I have I'm not supposed to sleep in so he's trying to get some for me the last ones I tried I didn't like so he's gonna try a different kind but I have to keep going back and then trying them and then come back and then trying them so I have to just use the trial and then come back and see how I like them so crossing my fingers that I do like these this time so I don't have to keep going back I'm just tired of it and it just makes my eyes just so irritated because every time we take them out and then try them and take them out and then try them so hopefully this will be the last time I go What's that saying? do y'all ever drive somewhere like not a long distance but just like maybe like to work every morning or just somewhere like your sister's house or somewhere or your parents house and you get there and you're like, you don't even remember like driving there. You just kind of like, it's just kind of like programmed in your head. <laughs> I do that all the time. Like I don't remember like turning here or turning there. Like I just, I mean, I know where I'm going. It's just like, you're not paying attention because you, you go so much, you know automatically where to turn. You're not like, okay, where do I go now? So, kind of funny. first time this is the first time that I've been by myself in a long time <laughs> between having him in my stomach or having him with me or having Josh with me 
or having my sister with me or my mom or my dad with me. So it's kind of weird being by myself and I have you guys with me. So I'm not alone. I still have someone to talk to. Usually I'll be flying down these roads with my windows down. I got my windows down. I don't even know if you can hear me. But with my windows down and listening to music wide open. So you know when you get married and you just you're comfortable with the person and you're so in love you're not really paying attention to your what you eat as much and your weight like you would when you're single and it's not that you don't care you're just like so comfortable you're not really worrying about it so since I've met Josh or since I've been in our relationship like before we got married and now that we're married it's just like I have gained so much weight just because I haven't been watching it like I used to and Every time I say that I'm going to try to do something, I just don't stick to it. So, I really want to stick to it and I feel like maybe if I like vlog it and I like can notice, look back and like see what I've done every day and like, okay, well I have to stick to it and see like my progression. Like I have some motivation, like okay, I did it yesterday and today and just kind of stick to it. I think I might... I might stick to it a little bit more. I don't know why I would, but I just need some kind of motivation because I always just talk myself out of it. Like, okay, well, I'll start tomorrow or the next day or I'll start next week. But I really want to start and I really want to get back to where I was. Believe it or not, I used to be skinny. I've just gained a lot of weight just being comfortable and just, just not really paying attention to how much I eat and pay attention to my weight so I really want to work on that and maybe if I kind of track it like on the vlog or something like I can actually see progress and have something to go on you know something to work for so I can see the progress but um used to I would just I drink a lot of sodas and used to I would drink a lot of waters and I would lose like 10 pounds like in a month just from not drinking water so I'm gonna start at least drinking back waters because I drink way too much sodas and then um trying to find time between work and having Gannon to do some kind of workout. I'm going to start probably going to Zumba with my friend um, if I can ever get my schedule just clear enough for someone to watch Gannon while I go um, or if I'm not working that day. So I really want to get back to where I was and feel better about myself because I think you have to be happy with yourself and you have to be comfortable with yourself, especially vlogging. I feel like since I've been vlogging, I guess because you're, you're constantly looking at yourself when you're editing the videos, or you know that the whole world is basically watching you, you're really self-conscious that you want to be perfect because you know there is going to be people talking about you. People talk about everybody. You know, whether whether good or bad or whether they're gorgeous or not, or tall or skinny, people are going to talk about you. And I know that, and I knew that when we started YouTube, but I think knowing that I can look at myself and be like, okay, I'm comfortable with the weight that I'm at. And if people want to talk about me, that's fine. But if I'm not comfortable with myself, then I think I'm going to take criticism a little bit harder because I'm going to be hard on myself knowing that I'm not happy with the weight that I'm at. So I really want to work on that, not just because of YouTube, because I am, I want to be healthier for Gannon and, and to be able to be healthy and eat the right things for him. So I'm going to start working on that. So I'm on the way and we'll see what the doctor says and how that goes. Okay, so I just got out of the eye doctor, and I think I like these. They feel pretty good right now, and he said they're looking good on my eyes, so I think I'm gonna like these. These are ones that you can sleep in for a month. I mean, you're not supposed to, but you can. And um, so hopefully I like these. Now I'm gonna go get my... Now I'm gonna run in Target real quick, and find a makeup brush for my grandma i got her she liked the bare mineral bare minerals foundation but i work at the makeup department at kohl's and um we use we sell pure minerals and supposedly pure is better but of course that's just because we're selling it they're gonna tell you that it's better but so i'm gonna go get her a makeup brush and um the one that comes with it is 20 bucks so I think I can find one similar to it um, like elf or something um. hey babe hey yeah. it's so dark I'm tired. 
up, I gotta go in in the morning. Six. Yep, again. I'm gonna get off at like 11, I think. I hope. Maybe 10. There's lights, whoa. Look at those, look at that doom buggy. <laughs> So we're getting mulch. We can't decide if we want black, red, or brown. Which one? The black, red, or brown? Mm. Josh just got all black and then he put them on a car and then he decided that he didn't think he wants black. So, <laughs> he's having to pull them all back. Like no. Some people don't like black stuff. You. You. I did not say anything about it. Just give me a hand. about six. Gannon's just chilling. He just pooped. You good? Are your fingers good? Got mulch? We do. You filled up a whole back seat. So we just got it loaded and now we're gonna go home and unload it. Yay! Feel good? Are you tired? No. Okay, we got the mulch. And we're stuffed in here like sausages. Just wet. Don't get my redneck sweat, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> Did you see what I named the other video? <laughs> redneck alert. <laughs> Did you look like a redneck with your shirt off and you're like, you and your hat on? 
the face you're just making. We're on the way home, and I think Wendy's, Josh's mom's gonna come over, and we're gonna have pizza. Yeah, they need to leave about 10 o'clock. Yeah, we're gonna have to be in well, I gotta get up again at 6 o'clock. I got toys in my lap. Jim gave us for cannon. Me and Dad look like a redneck then. Wait till you wait till tomorrow. And I'm out there in a white beater. It's a booze. That's amazing. That's it. No underwear, nothing. Dude, no, you need jeans. Jeans working 91 degree heat. Or some shorts. So we're going to show y'all the before and after what our yard looks like now and don't judge us because we're new house new homeowners and we're young and we just didn't take care of our yard baby. that much and we have and a new baby have money. but we're trying to put some effort into it <laughs> so bear with us young look at our dinner alfredo tomatoes and baking <laughs>